Regarding the Denza N7's exterior styling, there are mixed opinions. Despite having a sleek and sophisticated overall appearance, the N7 is neither overly appealing nor uninspiring. However, the placement of the LED DRLs, which distinguishes the front end from the typical slit DRLs and light bars, and is the most contentious design aspect. Both the side profile and the back of the Denza N7 show careful design considerations. The roofline smoothly falls towards the rear pillar, and the fastback style window shape adds dynamic appeal. The rear end features a slim, full-width connected taillight setup, a common recipe for most Chinese EV makers these days. Subscribe to the channel and support us. We provide information about new cars. Let's continue the video. The interior is something that gave me food for thought in the Denza N7. Initially, I was somewhat surprised. It doesn't follow the rest of the Chinese premium EV crowd with a futuristic, minimalist interior. It's far more warm, with plenty of European poplar wood, metal accents and silver plastics. It's a well-designed interior, and I came to the conclusion that it might resonate with an underserved demographic in the EV market, the older gentleman. The interior design is modern, but it is also a far more traditional and classical approach to what premium interior design is. You'll find capacitive touch buttons etched into the wood panels, and supporting screens elegantly enveloped by poplar wood, the dominating material feature. I found myself to be a big fan of it when I handed over the keys. It's not lacking in features even if it's taken a turn toward the older generation. You'll find a 17.3-inch 2K touchscreen center stage, with a 10.21-inch digital instrument panel, and a mirrored 10.25-inch passenger entertainment screen, making this cabin a mirror image means easy RHD production in the future perhaps. There's 5G connection, dual 50W wireless chargers, a huge HUD, a fragrance system, and a 16-speaker DVLA spatial audio system. The rear is spacious, with plenty of legroom, headroom, and footroom. The rear seats are equipped with two-stage heating and three recline positions. On a functional note, if you want to recline the seats, you have to use the same lever you use to fold the seats down. It's not the most sophisticated experience. However, with the laid back, it's a comfortable place to be with lots of light with the huge panoramic roof that comes equipped with an electronic sunshade. Riding on a modified BYD E-Platform 3.0, all Denza N7S are equipped with the same 91.3 kWh LFP blade battery pack. Denza claims that for the RWD models, the range is up to 702 k nod, whilst the AWD models naturally have a shorter range at 630 k nod. Denza also claims advances in battery cooling and battery management leading to those range estimates, as well as cell-to-body tech, structural battery pack, which BYD first introduced for the BYD SEAL. DC fast charging in the Denza N7 is a unique experience. Many other companies are touting high peak charge times and rates, whilst Denza is doing something a little differently, and arguably something that might cause disagreement at the charging station. Denza N7 is equipped with two DC fast charging sockets, allowing you to plug in two charging guns. The single gun mode will give you up to 150 kW, whilst adding a second will result in the Denza N7 being able to draw up to 230 kW. With the dual gun charging, the Denza N7 claims 350 km in 15 minutes, or 100 km in 4 minutes. The Denza N7 is available in two powertrain options. The RWD single motor version has 230 kilowatts and 360 nanometers, good for a 6.8S acceleration to 100 kph. The AWD dual motor version possesses 390 kilowatts and 670 nanometers, propelling it to 100 kph in 3.9S. The acceleration in the AWD model, although quick, is not a brutal affair. The torque delivery is not as linear as some other EVs, resulting in a smoother and more comfortable acceleration ramp. Equipped with double wishbone up front and five-link independent suspension in the rear, the Denza N7 is the first BYD product with its new DSUS air suspension. Air suspension has become almost a standard at this price point in China. The new air suspension left me in two minds. Over harsh, sharp bumps, like small speed bumps, the Denza N7 air suspension rounded off the thumps nicely. However, on a seemingly smooth road, a lot of small vibrations were passed into the cabin. I must caveat that by explaining we were testing a pre-production model, so not everything is the exact final product. 
and the exact car we were driving had been used and abused by journalists on the media track and drift event. So it's not had the easiest life. However, Denza has already expressed plans for OTAs this year for improved suspension and air suspension behavior. So hopefully if this is true of customer vehicles, it will be fixed with that OTA. And yes, Denza has included a drift mode in an SUV. I'm not sure why, I assume it's part of Denza's claimed sporty nature of the Denza N7. I don't think I can call the Denza N7 sporty, but it is a comfortable and quick, except for the vibrations long distance cruiser. The Denza N7 marks a turn in the road for BYD Advance ADS, both in terms of software and hardware. Our pre-production test car had no functional ADS, but all Denza N7 will ship with a level 2 system, almost certainly a rebranded die pilot system, nothing special. But the Denza N7 is the first BYD product equipped with LiDAR. In fact, the two bumper-mounted LiDAR units are optional along with an upgrade ADS chip and Vita or an X, but will be probably needed for advanced ADS. On the Denza N7 option list, you'll find city and highway NOA as well, meaning the Denza N7 will mark the beginning of BYD's jump into advanced ADS systems. The Denza N7 is touted to have highway NOA available by the end of 2023, with city NOA starting next year. The Denza N7 faces tough competition in its segment, and going from producing mass-market cheaper vehicles to rejuvenating, their lackluster premium brand is going to be a difficult task. The Denza D9 MPV, however, has been a massive hit in its segment, emerging as a new sign of stealth wealth in China. So perhaps the Denza N7 can capture customers, especially with its traditional premium styling, it may find a market amongst a new older demographic.